Hello, my name is Rocco Freeman and I'm seven years old. Wait, did I just say seven? That's right guys, I am seven! <laughs> Welcome to the prehistoric sea creature timeline. So you've probably heard of dinosaurs, right? But the dinosaurs weren't alone. Surrounding the dinosaurs on land, there are seas and oceans filled with strange creatures. So today we're going to talk about the prehistoric sea creature time warning. Welcome to the Cambrian period, about half a billion years ago. First up, Animal Cardus. This Cambrian creature appeared 500 million years ago. Animal Cardus was three feet long. These tentacle-like teeth were used to snatch up prey. Animal Cardus had pretty bad eyesight. Our next creature is the Opabenia. He's also in the Cambrian period. And he lived 490 million years ago. But you know what's weird? He's only two and a half inches long. Opapenia had five eyes. His mouth was attached to this long tube-like tentacle. It's really weird looking. Welcome to the Ordovician period. This is Solenophytus, a type of trilobite. He lived 450 million years ago. However, he survived for hundreds of millions of years afterwards. But he was only four and a half inches long. About as big as my hand. Welcome to the Solarium period, which was about 400 million years ago. This is Terry Gotis. He's an ancestor of the lobster. However... He was seven and a half feet long. If he was alive today, it would be scary to be in the ocean or on the beach. He involved 400 million years ago. Terry goes had gigantic claws to snatch its prey. This is an orthicone. He lived at the same time as Terry Gotis, which was 400 million years ago. This incredible creature was 20 feet long. This was probably the biggest creature in the Solarian period. As you can see, it looks like a squid, but it had a gigantic cone. They hunted Terry Gotis. Welcome to the Devonian period, which was about 375 million years ago. This is Cethelithpus. It's hard to pronounce that name. He evolved 375 million years ago, but he was only five inches long. He had this armor-plated head, and he has a mouth like a stingray. Next creature of the Devonian is Dunkleosteus. He was alive 360 million years ago, and Dunkleosteus was 33 feet. These aren't really teeth. But instead, they are part of his jaw. So he had an incredibly strong bite. Welcome to the Carboniferous period. This is a nautiloid. Although my toy is very small, it actually grew to be 11 feet long. That's one foot taller than a basketball hoop. They were 300 million years ago. They looked like orthocones, however, however, they weren't as big as orthocones tentacles. But nautiloids but tentacles were long. Welcome to the Triassic period, which was around 250 million years ago. This is Shonosaurus. He was one of the first true giant prehistoric sea creatures. Because he was 49 feet in length. He lived 230 million years ago. He 
He was one of the first to look like a modern day sea creature. Welcome to Jurassic Park! It was really the Jurassic period. And it was 200 million years ago. First of the Jurassic period, Plesiosaur. He lived 200 million years ago, and he grew to 13 feet long. Many people think the Loch Ness Monster is Plesiosaur, but however, he's extinct. Wait, it is the Plesiosaur. Just kidding. Next is Ichthyosaur. He lived 190 million years ago, and he grew to be six feet long. That's just because my daddy. As you can see, my toy is eating an animite. It kind of looks like a modern day dolphin, but it would look much more like a dolphin if he turned the tail like this. Next is Leoporidon. This Jurassic creature was alive 150 million years ago, and it grew to be 20 feet long. Look at the size of the mouth and the sharp teeth. But Leopardon's teeth were way sharper and, and longer. And the last Jurassic creature is Predator X, also known as a Pliosaurus. He lived 130 million years ago, and he grew to an incredible 45 feet. He looks like a huge Leopardon. Well, I guess that is what happens when when Leoporidon gets a Mega Mushroom from Mario Kart. Just kidding. You knew I would do a Mario reference, okay? Welcome to the Cretaceous period, which began 100 million years ago. First in the Cretaceous period, Cretaceous Anamite. He was around 100 million years ago, but he was only 8 inches long. However, if you uncurled him, he would be way longer. He looks like a curled up nautilid. Next up, Elasmosaurus. He lived 80 million years ago. And he was 45 feet long. His great characteristic is his long neck, which helped him to hunt schools of fish. Next is Styxosaurus. He lived 75 million years ago, and he was 38 feet long. He has a longer neck than Elasmosaurus, which helped him reach around and sneak up on prey. This is Archeron. As you can see, he's the ancestor of a turtle, but he lived 70 million years ago, and he grew to be 15 feet. That's a big turtle. And don't say leatherback turtles are, are as big as an arch one. That's not true. This is Cretoxyrhina. Obviously an ancestor of the great white shark. He lived 66 million years ago. And he grew to 25 feet long. What a bite. This is Kronosaurus. He also lived 66 million years ago. And he was 33 feet long. Look at those sharp teeth. And his head was over 6 feet long. Scary. This is Tylosaurus. He also lived 66 million years ago. And he grew to be 40 feet long. Experts think that he may have been striped like a tiger. This is the real tiger shark. This is a mosasaur. He was 66 million years ago and grew to an incredible 50 feet long. For those of you who have seen Jurassic World, mosasaur killed Indominus Rex. This was one of the scariest prehistoric sea creatures of all time. Good thing it's now alive today. Our last Cretaceous creature is Squalocorax. Again, he was 66 million years ago, and he grew to 16 feet long. Squalocorax also hunted turtles like the tiger shark, 
Welcome to the Eocene period. This is Basilosaurus. Basilosaurus was one of the longest prehistoric sea creatures ever. He reached 70 feet in length. He lived 35 million years ago. He's an ancestor of the modern day whale. Last but not least, welcome to the Neogene period. The star of this period was the Megalodon. He lived about 3 million years ago and grew to be around 52 feet long. Did you know that they've only found Megalodon teeth and backbones? So they're not quite sure how big he actually was. But he was the biggest shark of all time. So that was 500 million years of prehistoric sea creatures. But good, th but good thing it didn't take 500 million years. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next adventure.